Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a little review of this baby right here. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 4. And why does Hourglass packaging have to be so reflective? I'm so sorry. I'm going to be blinded. But this is <clears throat> what the outside packaging looks like. It's like a rosy reflective um, situation. And then here she is. The baby herself so if you're interested in my review of this little guy right here then let's just head into the video but before we head into the video be sure to hit that subscribe button down below give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and let's get into it all right all right all right so a little backstory which i'm sure you guys are familiar with <laughs> if you watch my channel volume edit three no the lighting, the lighting edit volume three came out last Christmas and I made the mistake of waiting too long to buy it. And I, <clears throat> it's safe to say that I was very upset about it. Like really upset. I even considered buying it on eBay for like $200, even though, I mean, it's an $80 palette. So it's already wicked expensive, but I even considered paying more for it because once these come out, they are limited edition. And when they're gone, they're gone. And I love the hourglass pal uh, the hourglass um, uh, the powders. I have this blush. This is in the shade Dim Infusion, and I carry this around with me everywhere I go. I love them. They're just so soft and fresh and beautiful, and I love their powders. So I really wanted this one. And this year, my best my best friend bought it for me for my birthday, which was really really sweet of her. I'm so excited about it. And yeah, let's <clears throat> dig into this baby. And this is. Um, so this is what the palette looks like on the inside. Maybe this is less blinding than the palette itself. So it comes with six shades and it tells you that you can, um, it gives you like little um, pointers of how to use each powder. So it says to finish, like finish your face, um, apply diffuse light or dim light and to bronze you contour along the temples with filtered bronze light blush apply luminous glow or euphoric fusion and then highlight apply euphoric strobe light um <clears throat> so it's nice because it has a little bit of everything in it beautiful mirror the component is always so classy and beautiful um love the packaging on the hourglass products so here you have it right here you have um basically let's see uh, all right, yeah. So these two right here, love of the bronzer. Yeah, these two right here are the finishing powders. This one and this one. Um, this is dim light right here, and this is diffused light. And then this one right here is the strobe powder, and this is the highlighter. Then you have the bronzer in filtered bronze light, and then you have two blushes. Um, one is luminous glow, and this is you euphoric fusion and to be honest what I really the reason I really really wanted this palette aside from the fact that I just really really wanted it because I missed out on the one last year is for the shade right here I've been really into like mauvey purpley blushes lately especially for the fall and winter time and so I was really excited to see that this was the layout of this palette so let's just do this right here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and actually I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and I'm going to dip into the top two right here and I'm kind of just going to go back and forth and I'm going to use it to just buff it into the entire skin, into the entire face. And um, the thing about these is that yes, they do have a very, sh like, very subtle shimmer to them. So if you don't like um, shimmers at all, you will not like these powders, especially the finishing powders or the strobing powders. Um, there are blushes that are more um, matte, kind of like this one right here. This one is more matte, dim infusion. Um, if you look at this right here, it does have some marbling in it, but not too much. But if you look at these two blushes right here, you see all the marbling that's in them. That's going to give you a little bit of a shimmer. See the difference? So just something to be mindful of. All right, so after finishing the entire face with those two powders, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of bronzing. Okay, so let's take this brush right here. This is the Sonia Kashuk brush, and we're going to dip into the bronzer down here. And we're just going... So we're going to dip into the bronzer. And these are very subtle, very soft. I love these. And we're just going to bronze. You see that? See? Flat. Curved. Flat. Okay, so we're going to go up and around. And what's nice about these, if you if, if you ever use another... Um, blush or bronzer and you go in too hard with it and you want to tone it down you just grab some of these finishing powders right here and you dust on top of them and it really helps everything just kind of melt and blend into each other much better I love these, especially for the winter time, because they are nice and subtle. Um, they are very nice for light. They're very nice for light to medium skin tones. Um, it would be nice if they came out with at least two variations of this, like a, a light to medium and then a medium to deep. That would be really nice. Just to get some variety and make this, you know, available to a wider audience. This this is definitely this is definitely geared towards like a, a very light skin tone, light to medium, if that. Um, see, like my skin tone now, my my um, tan is starting to fade, but it hasn't faded all the way yet. So even for me, like I need to build this up a lot. It'll be perfect in the winter time, but just look at how nice and it does you see the sheen so that is just from what's in the bronzer really you see very pretty very pretty um next let's grab a blusher brush and i think i'm going to go into the mauve blush all over the cheeks and then maybe go into the peachy blush just and then maybe so i'm going to go into the mauve blush and I think I'm going to put that like all over the cheeks and then maybe center the other blush like just on the apples. So that is the mauve blush, and now let's grab some peachy blush. So that is that. So now let's just do a little bit of highlighting. So we're going to go into this strobe and if we get a little, it's, it's really pretty. Let's go onto the brow. And this palette is just so nice for everyday looks, for no makeup, makeup day. Like, it just gives you just a beautiful freshness, you know? Like, I feel fresh right now. I feel like I just need to put on, you know, some mascara, and that's it. I have my lip balm on. Maybe put on a gloss. Yeah. So there you have it. That is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 4, right? Yes, Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 4. I got it right. That's a lot of, that's a lot of words for one name. But yeah, here she is. Here are the shades again. And... I love these. I think they're so pretty. What do you guys think? Have you tried any of the out? And the pant sizes are actually quite big. Um, you get 0 .4, 0 0.04 ounces each. And this, I think these are like big enough. These, I think these go for like $30 on the bronzers. I think are even like 
$50. I don't know. They're expensive. They're expensive. But, and I just tossed it across my table. Okay, so even this alone, I think this was like $24. Um, it's so much blush. Like, in this, I don't know. These are... These are 0.15 ounces. 0.15 ounces. So, I really like this. This is like a, quarter, a third of what the big one is. I really like this. Look at my skin. It looks so healthy and like fresh. Like I need to throw on a coat and like an infinity scarf and just go walk outside in the cold and just be fresh and let my nose rosy up from the cold. Ah! I love winter. I just wish it didn't last for like six months. I live in New England. Oh, winter is long. It's like half the year. We had fall for maybe like a week. It's already winter. So yeah, that is this palette. I am thoroughly enjoying it. Let me know in the comment section below if you've picked up any of the ambient lighting um, edit palettes or if you have any of the um, hourglass powders. I'm trying not to blind you guys. Um, I'm very curious to know, so let me know if you've tried them out, if you like them, if you don't like them. Maybe they're not your cup of tea. I don't know. For me, looking at my face right now on the monitor, I'm like, mm, your face looks good. <laughs> All right. So thank you guys so much for sticking around with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I need to stop saying, um, uh, leave me any comments in the comment section below if you have any tips or tricks or any comments that you have on my videos. If you know, ways for me to improve, what kind of videos you'd like to see. I'd love to get all of your opinions. I really would. So thank you so much for sticking around. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, subscribe to my channel before you leave. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Check out my other videos. There are some good ones, I think. I don't know. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.